What's up guys? For today's watch review, we're going to talk about a watch that I've had for quite some time. This is the G-Shock GLX150. It says G-Lite here, so I'm not sure if it's informally called the G-Lite. But let's do a quick 360. This is a very old watch of mine. I've had it for several years, and I just recently found it in the deepest, darkest corners of my storage. So I just wanted to do a quick review. You can see there's a lot of wear and tear. But let's start off with the talking points. Starting off with price. I forget what I paid for it seven years ago, but currently it is going for about $95 before taxes. Um, you'll find it going for around 90 to 120 so we'll just say 110 is what you should expect to pay for this online. Next item is tactical, schmactical, dressy, or casual. I'll say that this is casual. It could maybe tactical, but I think the backlight is too bright for it to be um, beneficial in a tactical environment. Next item is the functions. So going on the functions, you've got this button right here, which changes it from military to standard time, or 12 hour to 24 hour. And then your mode here, you've got tide graph, world time, stopwatch, timer, alarm, and back to main time. Pretty standard, nothing out of the ordinary here. Next item is illumination. Let's go ahead and turn off the light. And the backlight is fantastic, but I think in a tactical environment it might be too bright. There is absolutely no complaints here, but if you are ever in a situation that requires very low light conditions, you know, this will this will burn out your retina. Not really, but you know, you'll lose your night vision looking at a bright light like that. Next item is visibility. Visibility is fantastic. Considering that this is a negative display, at least the portion that displays the time and date. Um, there are no complaints there. I would think that the display would start to fade once the battery started to get weaker, but I mean, it's going on seven years strong. I haven't changed the battery on this at all. If that isn't a testament to the quality of the batteries that Casio uses, I don't know what is. All right, next item is button and crown placement. Fantastic, you've got this part right here that comes out and it gives just enough protection to receive all the physical contact from anything. So these buttons are, um, they're protected enough to, so they won't ever accidentally be depressed. And they're easy to push in and nice and soft. And as you can see, they are the standard textured buttons that you see on higher quality G-Shocks. All right, next item is the band quality and comfort. Band quality is excellent. After seven years, actively wearing this for three years and then the next four years just letting it sit in the dark and just to rot and forget about it. Um, it has, I think, lasted very good. It's, there's no signs of deterioration or dry rot or cracking. So I've got no complaints with the band. Uh, next item is overall and should you buy. Overall, this is a great watch. Um, as far as its ability to tell time, so right now it is showing 2136. Um, I set this watch seven years ago on the East Coast. I'm currently on the West Coast my watch says 1832 so there is a three hour difference and as you can see 1832 2137 so for seven years this watch has kept accurate time and it has ended up after seven years being five minutes too fast I think that is phenomenal the fact that after seven years I have not adjusted the time on this watch and it is only off by five minutes is fantastic I not I mean, I'm sure that every G-Shock uses the same computer or whatever in their watches, so this should be a testament to all G-Shocks and the, their ability to tell time and their reliability is really, there is no competition. 
Um, going on to the material condition, I mean, as you can see, this thing has been, you know, I scraped all the paint off, but there's been paint on this. It's been in the, you know, toughest environments, industrial, in the, in the toughest industrial environments, and it's been out to sea, just, you know, salt, dirt, grime, everything on it, and it's still going strong. Yep. I mean, look at that. You wouldn't even think that this was a seven-year-old watch. It's operating as if you bought it from the mall yesterday. So, yeah. Even though this is a review on the GLX 150, I feel like this should be a review for all simple digital G-Shocks really they they just age very well and they'll keep ticking so anyways that's all i got to say about this watch thanks for watching i hope that this helps you with your next watch purchase and uh i'll see you guys later all right bye